Hey fam, today we're going to talk about citrus, mainly my lemons. I have a little issue with my lemons every single year. A lot of my other citrus, I don't really have that, but not just with citrus, but with other plants. So we're going to talk about a little pest that is in your garden, but it's going to tie into your stress-free garden. So the idea now is we're going to take the opportunity to de-stress by solving a problem and eliminating pests. And it's, it's, it's meticulous, it's time taking, and it will take your mind off of whatever you're stressed about. So this is a strategy with stress-free gardening. We're going to attack a certain pest on the lemon tree. So let's go. Grow, eco neighbor, grow, 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 eco neighbor, grow, 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 eco neighbor, grow, 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 grow eco neighbor. If you are in a warm, moist area, hence Florida, hence probably parts of Texas. Our area is full of moisture. Anywhere along the water in the south, you typically have encountered, it's like a white cottony substance on your plants. So, not to dance mealy rock, but it's mealy bugs. Mealy bugs, I encounter them every year on my sister trees. So, if you are in a zone where it's it's warm, it's humid, it's moist, you're probably going to encounter this white cotton type substance around your either citrus trees or even other plants. You'll find it also in indoor plants. So if you see, if you got a warm, moist area in your indoor garden, you might see this like cotton type substance. they are millibugs. So I'm gonna give you a strategy where you can get rid of these millibugs. And it's, and it's, it's quick and it's easy. Uh, I won't spray my plant now. You can spray your plant. You can mix up a moisture, but I want the beneficial That's one bugs. one bug you don't wanna get rid of. That's a beneficial bug. That spider right there, that's beneficial. Don't get rid of it. Like my citrus trees, you have other uh, pests like scale and a bunch of other stuff. So I just take my time and like I said, it's like a de-stress procedure where I can just relax and take a simple cotton swab, some rubbing alcohol and some water and I could just, just take my time and just kind of brush the plants. And it, it can be relaxing, it can take your mind away and you're doing the plant a great service and you're getting rid of pests at the same time. So let me take you on a journey so you can see the pest in action and then I'll show you my process on how I get rid of bugs. If you go down the branch and you will see like look at the edge you'll see like a white like a cotton light substance. Those are what we call millibugs. Um, right here is a fine example right here. All that little cotton light. I have my water mix and I've added some rubbing alcohol. Uh, you really don't have to add that much. You can just add just a little water and a little rubbing alcohol. And we're going to come on right on in. And then all I do is just... Just rub it, simply wipe it away. And you see that the mama, you don't like it, flies away. Got some right here. Just simply take it, wipe it down. And I just work my way throughout the plant. 
And you can just do this periodically. Just take your time and just go through here periodically. And you'll notice that eventually a lot of it just kind of go away. Another classic example where you see I have celery growing right here. I got a couple of pieces of celery. And if you look in right here, you'll see some more right here. It's a nice little clump right there. Same thing. I just go in here and just use like a paintbrush. They're jumping off as soon as I can just wipe it. They're getting out of here. Just wipe it down. So I'm hoping that this was beneficial to you. If it was, please leave a comment in the comments field. If you have other questions about citrus, please leave it in the comment field. This is something that I got many challenges when it comes to citrus, but this is one of the challenges that I face. A lot of them I do not address. I noticed I had more issues with citrus when it was younger, but I also noticed that there are certain seasons, and you're going to find this in your garden y'all just be patient with your guard and just take your time and analyze your guard there's some times where you get less rain more rain instability with temperature or whatever and you'll notice you'll get more past certain seasons and you'll see phases and cycles so armor yourself with knowledge to deal with your personal challenges in your guard and just learn different ways and different strategies Another way that you can mitigate some of these pests, some people say, all you got to do is just spray it, spray it, spray it. Think about it. The mealybug loves moisture and humidity. So you can spray it today. And then you'll notice that you get a lot more mealybugs over the next week or two. This alcohol water mix, I have less of that like come back so just keep this in mind there are strategies there are different ways you can do um alcohol basically we put it on our skin what have you if it's in low amounts which i diluted it so the rain by the time i harvest everything you're gonna have rain and everything else but it will eliminate your pests so consider it it may not be your answer but this is the option Y'all be well, be blessed, and don't forget, whatever you do, whatever you do, keep on growing. Grow. Hey, I know we all talk, we always got something to say, but what are you saying? Are you speaking life? Speak life when you speak.